Hi there, Simon from simonvoice.com. I have two uh, American uh, Torres Chardonnays here, but they're from uh, opposite sides of the equator. Uh, so I've got one from uh, Marimar Torres in California, and I've got one from uh, the Miguel Torres Winery uh, down in down in Chile, uh, where where they were, I think they were probably one of the, the, the first really really big uh, foreign companies to uh, uh, to invest there in the new wave of uh, Chilean wineries. There uh, there, is, there was of course a huge uh, wave of European influence that uh, arrived there in the uh, uh, in, in the mid 19th century. But anyway, I'll shut up. No, I won't shut up because you don't know what the wines are otherwise. Uh, so first one I'll do is the Marimar Torres 2014 um, and, and it's a Chardonnay and it's their Acero one. Acero means steel, um, so steel uh, denoting the fact that uh, this hasn't been anywhere near a barrel. Uh, so let's give this one a whirl. Ripe, plump, um, tinned peach. I can't remember the last time I had a tinned peach, but it's a very particular uh, flavour from childhood, and uh, I get that character jumping up and down. Um, I've had, I, I, I've tried quite a lot of Marimar Torres wines over the last few years, and uh, I, in in terms of the Chardonnays, this is often the one I prefer uh, because uh, sometimes I find the other ones uh, there's almost a little bit too much flavour in them. They are big and they're round and they're rich and they're oaky and they're very ripe. Um, and this one has a little bit more, um, yeah, restraint, and it's not trying to uh, bludgeon you into uh, submission. It's just sort of happy to be there and go, hello, here I am. Uh, it, 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 does, it does smell rich and honest, but it doesn't smell like it's going to be OTT. Young, fresh, juicy, and with this peachy character, peaches, nectarines, and uh, and it, it is very much on that um, slightly cooked and tinned peach character. Um, I like the wine. Um, it's um, it's come out of a cool cellar. I, I think that um, because it hasn't got the oak in, uh, I'd probably prefer it to uh, to be chilled just a little bit more. Uh, and why do I say about the oak? Because if you've got a, an oaky wine and you chill it, uh, that's when you start really getting those slightly bitter edges of the oak coming through. Uh, here, because it's unoaked, um, uh, you won't get those. Uh, instead, I, I want that peachy fruit just to be turned down a little bit. Less of the peach melba, but more of the fresh peach. Second one is um, the um, Cordillera Chardonnay 2013 from the Limery Valley, one of the cooler bits of Chile, even though it is uh, one of the more northerly bits, but it's cooler because it gets quite a lot of influence from the, the Pacific rather than uh, with all the air being stopped by the coastal range of mountains. Slightly higher in alcohol, I think the first one was 13.5%. Uh, um, oh no, this one's 13.5% too, uh, but this has got uh, a dollop of French oak too. This also smells rich, ripe, warm, and uh, slight, that slightly oily. Um, and if the first one was a tin peaches, maybe this one is slightly more the uh, uh, the pineapple chunk. I think of Limery as maybe being a little, in, in general, as being a little bit uh, crisper and lither than this, but that may just be to do with uh, uh, the people who are making the wines there. Uh, the Torres style, uh, if I think of their, their, their Chardonnay in, in, in Penedes, uh, Milmanda, that's always quite a big, rich, rounded style. Uh, and this feels like it's going to be not shy. A little bit of toastiness from the oak. Um, uh, and then this rounded, juicy flavour. There is this crisp edge running through it all. Um, slight bit of earthiness, uh, some cashew-like, nutty character. Um, I, I, of, the, of the two, I prefer the uh, I prefer the Marimar. Uh, I find this just a little bit conventional. Uh, the Marimar, I think, with that uh, absence of makeup, uh, just is just very happy to sit there and go, "Here I am." If you if you want to like me, that's great, and I do like it. Here, it feels like they've just manipulated that little bit too much. Um, and uh, so, uh, so I will be sticking to the Californian wine tonight. See you soon.